Oh, there he is. Oh. All right, nice bright and early fried chicken for breakfast. <laughs> I have nothing else to eat. And uh, Dave, he's a follower on my Instagram account and he's also a subscriber to my YouTube channel. He, uh, Shot me a message yesterday on Instagram about taking me out in his little boat. So I'm getting ready now, and this morning I actually have off from work, and then I have work this afternoon, and then uh, the next like four days I have like 12 hour days. So we're gonna try and get out there. And for the last like couple weeks, a big goal of mine has been to get on like a really hot Albi bite. And I don't know, it's been tough. I couldn't, <laughs> I'm stuck here. I couldn't, you know get on any Albies in the kayak. I had good chances, but I feel like I've had like a hex on me. You know, I couldn't get on any, you know, I only caught one Albie in the kayak. So let's get finished uh, rigging up and head over to Dave's little boat and hopefully get out there and catch some Albies. Nice little uh, rig you got here. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's the A to K. That's the boat yep. I work on right there. Dude, I've been listening to Dave on the radio for 35 Can you grab years. This? Feels weird being in, you know, that boat <laughs> and coming to this boat. <laughs> yes. Yes. Never been uh, underneath the, the bow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just saw some Albies pop right here, guys. And, uh, you know, if you've never Albi fished, find the birds. We found the birds here at Shagwong. And uh, Dave's making the first cast. He's using a hoagie epoxy. Yep. Hoagie, uh, the hoagie, hoagie epoxy uh, classic. Heavy minnow, I, I actually don't have any hoagie, so I'm going to stick with the flies and uh, probably with crippled herring and, maybe, you know, and deadly dicks and stuff like that. I saw him flash at it. No way. Oh, they're going crazy over there. Yeah, we should just like follow. Oh, dude, right here, right here, right here. I think they're all around here. <laughs> Good thing about this egg is you can cast it like a mile. Probably farther than like a piece of metal. You can cover a lot of water. There he is, got him. Nice. On the egg. Oh yeah. Come on buddy, pull. It's a little one. Doesn't even know he's hooked yet. <laughs> this feels good. Even though it's a little guy, it still feels awesome. <laughs> to get into a little tunoid. There he goes. Now he now he knows he's hooked. That's how we do it on the yellowfin. Awesome right there. On the yellowfin. It's, it's a good one. I mean, it's not giant, but it's decent. You got to get the egg float and the fly. Target species accomplished. There he goes. All right, 
the next question is where do I go get some egg sinkers and flies after I drop your ass? No, not, not egg sinkers, <laughs> egg floats. <laughs> you got to go to Rhode <laughs> Island. Egg sinkers, that would work so hard. <laughs> no, it would not. Yeah, that's big in Rhode Island. I mean, if I were you, if, just take off like the hook on the back end of maybe an epoxy and put a fly on the back. I haven't. How about like, you know, I have like, how about just like a plug, like a wooden plug? Yeah, that would work too. I mean, I have something like that. Do you have a little pencil? Yeah, like that. Or that would work, yeah. Like a wood one that looks like that, and just more in the shape of a, of a pencil popper. Yeah, no, that would, that would work. I have fly. My problem is I don't even have any flies. <laughs> they, were, they were blowing up on yours? Yeah. Or they're just coincidentally blowing up on bait right next to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I, they'll probably hit that. It's just like, I mean, I'm not like killing them either, you know. I think it's yeah. just like, you just got to throw it in front of the right one. There we go. Oh, there he is. Oh, this guy's. This, this is a good one. A, oh no, he's going into the back. <laughs> I don't have much line on this reel. All right, he's coming back. He's coming back. I think he burned himself out on that first little run. That was like instant. As soon as that fly hit the surface this fish crushed it Whoa, okay <laughs> Whew. another nice little guy all day oh right here no If I get a bite right here, that's gonna be insane. Try this little thing. You know, take the deer hair off it. I don't know, it got stuck in my bucktail. That's a little crippled herring. Oh yeah, finally dude! Oh, you got one! <laughs> the crippled herring did it, I told you it would do it. Exactly, they're feeding on little tiny stuff. All right, Rich, just give me a picture real quick. All right, so let me give you guys a little bit closer look at my setup here. I'm just using a uh, seven foot six medium power fast action Mojo and Shore spinning rod. 3000 uh, Venom, a little spinning reel with 10 pound test, Green Moss Power Pro braid. And then I have my little egg float, which you tie the braid direct to that little egg float. And then I'm using about, I don't know, I would say two feet of uh, 20 pound fluoro. And then I tied that direct to my little fly that I'm using. And uh, it's a pretty simple setup. It works, it gets the job done. <laughs> Definitely gets the fly into the right strike zone, especially if you don't know how to fly cast and you want to fish flies, because a lot of times the flies are more effective. But uh, the bites kind of slowed down a little bit. I mean, they're popping up like here and there, but they're not as thick as they were. Let me get my fly rod here. I'm gonna give this fly a little bit of a trim. Might help with bites. Hmm. Seems like they vanished, kind of. I know they're right in, right in front of me. There he is, got him. Nice. Oh, we saw him crush it. Finally got him. And I saw him eat it. That was even more cool. I don't even think he knows he's hooked yet. Oh. 
and they're jumping right behind us and I got a fish on. This one's probably the biggest one too. Good, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that rod. He's coming and he's coming. Look at that one right there. <laughs> and the fly right in the corner of the mouth. All right. Awesome. All right, guys, back on dry land. And then in probably like 10, 15 minutes, I got to go back out on the 80K for work. So I'm kind of in a rush. I got to go run home and get like some like summer weather. I'm in pants, long sleeve shirt, long socks. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking today. I didn't know it was going to be like super hot and I got to get something to eat. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks to Dave again for taking me out. And uh, it was, you know, pretty decent. I mean, I only caught three, but like that's a lot better than what I've been doing in the kayak and from the surf. And um, in September, like there were so many Albies like right outside by the inlet and they were like, you know, really accessible by the kayak, which just, I was working a lot. So I couldn't get, you know, out there and fish for more than like, say like an hour before dark. And, um, you know, I just needed to get out in the boat. So hopefully my next video will be uh, in the kayak or from the surf. And right now there's like a ton of fish in the rips. So it's only a matter of time. We get some Northeast wind, we get some, you know, rougher weather, cooler weather. And those fish, like, I have a feeling they're going to start migrating. And uh, hopefully it's pretty good. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm probably in Montauk till about October 20th or maybe the 25th. I don't know, maybe the 15th. And uh, then I'm probably going back to Jersey, then maybe going to Rhode Island. Still kind of like, you know, a toss-up in the air. I'm done with school, so I still got to figure out what I want to do if I want to keep doing YouTube or uh, get a, you know, a big boy job. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget to give this video a like, thumbs up, and subscribe. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live.